Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and welcome back to some more Slay the Spire. So today we're going to be looking at another mod character, and this one is called the Hierophant, which looks pretty interesting by design. So I wanted to really try this one out just because the design actually really appeals to me. So, uh, so it does explain like some of the cards. It doesn't say anything about how many cards there are or how many relics there are, which, like I said, is something you always need to do. Is just basically put up your put up your cards and put up how many relics that there are. But one of them's piety. Piety is a buff that can acquire that you can acquire that decays quickly, but directly impact the fight if parity exceeds the HP of an enemy at the end of your turn the enemy is defeated peacefully okay it's possible to defeat the entire game through peaceful means but very difficult without any damage support okay while parity is great for dispatching multiple weak-minded enemies Fervor, or fervor, what? What is that? And you know, fever, or you know what? That's how we're pronouncing it. Fever. <laughs> As sales at taking down big targets. Alternative to strength, fever is a buff that stacks and gains extra damage to your next attack it fades at the at end of turn if it's not used so you need to make sure it's not wasted okay these are the next two uh, little abilities here horde and tith hold on Google Translator, help me out. Hold on a second. I need to learn how to say these words. They're all so weird. It's probably saying it the way I want it to be. Tithe. Tithe. Okay, never mind. I'll just go fuck myself. Anyhow, uh... <laughs> okay, Horde and Tithe. The Hierophant manipulates go through the Horde and Tithe keywords that allow you to choose your balance throughout well between strategy and tactics with an entire sub theme of doubloons and trade it's possible to build an entire strategy around bribery hmm okay and that's pretty much it so back to the game so we're going to be trying out this character, seeing how it is, and seeing how it goes. I'm probably going to be confused as hell, but you know what? We're all about the journey. I really like the design of it. Kind of feels like it fits the game. I'm going to choose this, because I regretted it last time. <laughs> okay, how many elites do we got? We got two elites over here that I can hit we got one well we got two elites over here but they're separated so I guess we're just gonna go this way we got block actually what's in our deck so far draw two cards that's Tyfe and we got piratey at the end of the turn defeat any enemy with equal HP to oh Okay, so as I'm adding on priority. Oh, huh, that's weird. I, I think I get it a little bit. It kind of explains it down here too. Your energy is, is sufficient, can be partially paid with gold at the rate of 10 gold per missing enemy. Energy. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. Enlightened. Okay, we weren't told about enlightened. Okay, it's just piratey. An additional 50% of piratey while enlightened. 
But we do shuffle two days in our deck. I feel like I want to build that more than anything. Just to see it. Okay, here we go. This is what I wanted to do, just so we can see a lot more cars that are available. Okay, obviously this was going to disappear if you don't use it. Hmm. So when exhausted, it permanently gains two damage. So if we just don't use it, we'll, we'll just keep buffing it? Hmm. I kind of want to see. That means every match we're going to have to draw it at least once. Upgrade a card in my hand. Let's upgrade. What would this turn to? Okay, I will gain three instead. That will go down by one. Okay, that scales to two energy. Buff that. Okay, so let's try this out. That's when I draw a card. Draw two cards now. Now, nah, there we go. I don't want to use that though. Because now that's exhausted. Does it go up? Yes, it does. So as long as we just don't use it, it just goes up. So basically, that just gives me more every time I... Oh, you know what? I think I like Fever a lot more. Lose 10% of your gold. Deals that much damage. Okay, so you're just literally playing around with your gold. Jesus. Or go dis oh, okay. I can see how you can really play with your gold here. That's actually like really interesting. Especially if you're playing with a lot of gold. Oh boy, that's kinda really good. I think there is a mod. Oh yes, this could actually be really OP. Just because I think there is a mod that saves your gold per run. Oh wow. Um <laughs> Anywho, so deal it was 15 damage benefits from favor without being consumed. I'll take that. Oh no, it's the thorn bush. <laughs> Forgot about this damn thing. Okay, we have a potion here. Go. Got some more potions. Hmm, we're gonna take that. So I'm kind of curious of what this will actually do if I upgrade. It just gives it more block. Why? Why would you do such a thing, you monster? <laughs> like you traitor! How dare you do me like this? So obviously we're going for a favor run, but you guys will be able to go for parity or the other run. I haven't seen, well, the gold run, which is horde and stuff like that. Yeah, it seems like you can really play around horde just to like gain a huge amount of gold. Hmm. Let's hit this elite. Ah, of course it's you. 
The sad part is we're gonna be fucked. Give you a little bit of luck. Uh, where's my power card? I need that for all my draws. That is not the power card I'm looking for, game. Me power cards, game. Okay, there it is. So if their HP is lower than this, but it does descend as you're going, that that's actually really neat. Okay, I get how that works. So you definitely can really build around that. I need you to chill out, all right? You're doing a lot of damage and I don't like it. Boop. Boop. Um... Okay, there we go. <laughs> so we got the baseball, huh? Mm. <gasps> that card is now free. Thank you, game. Permanently upgrade every bloom in your hand. For each bloom upgraded, deals 20 damage to an enemy. Wow, okay. Okay. Oh, okay, what the hell? You defeat an enemy, heal for the third, heal for a third of its remaining HP. Ah, oh, so I'm guessing that's actually part of piracy. So that card's actually pretty useless, never mind. At least I'm pretty sure it's pretty useless. Okay, so we have these guys. Ah, whoops. Or at least he doesn't get to keep the shield anyway, so you know how I take it. And plus I get this block, so I wasn't really too worried about that. Oh, I was gonna try and get him down to below. Okay, so that's gonna insta kill him. Ah! Do I actually like this? Ow! So now he flees, so I don't have to waste any more cards. Maybe I should just went for the piratey build. Yeah, <laughs> block, son. Oh, I didn't go off. Okay, then. I thought it was gonna go off, and you did. Okay, so let's see what this is. I think this is just a regular item. Part of the game. Okay, give an enemy. 
10 block and draw a card each for five. Meh. But then again, eh, wow, all these are like, okay. <laughs> they're, they're, they're weird. They're very weird. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have a picture of the character actually at the fire, though. It's something else I realized just now. I wonder what happens if I have two of those. I'm just curious. Just very curious now. Do we really want to ra randomize this? I don't think about it. Retain the highest cost card in your hand. Chosen that random. Went tie. Okay. Nah, we're just gonna randomize that. See what happens. Oh, it adds a black card in my hand. Yeah, dude, why not? I'm about to say, his relic isn't really all that good, personally. Uh, let's use... Yeah, there we go. Gonna block. Get our free draw. Block. This is all we can do right now. <laughs> I'll take the max HP off that. Yeah, there we go. That calms down our little situation right there. Stop it. How dare you. And now you're dead. Thank you. Thank you for the HP, dude. I appreciate it. Okay, yeah, that the card is for the poverty thing. Oh, wow, okay. What? Oh, that's actually pretty good, too. Okay, the, the person who made this is actually pretty clever. I see what they're going for, for sure. Definitely see what they're going for with this mod. Let's just see if we can be the boss now. Let's gamble this way. Nah, I just got another one. <laughs> Alright, decent chunk of damage for the first uh, turn. Now you're confused, douche. Now what you gonna do? You ain't gonna do nothing. Nani? Okay. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> There has some shit that's gonna disappear soon. Yeah, disappears. <laughs> oh wow, okay, that so that really plays in together. I like that. Oh no, he, he is split into a tool. Whoop. Bit it. Um. Boop. Pop. Boop. You're out of here. 
My shield! How dare you? You know how rude that is, bro? Stack another one. Because that's actually what I wanted to see what would happen. So does it multiply and do way more? Let's see. Oh, it does go up by two. That's how much damage they're going to be doing now. Boop. Boop. And go away. <laughs> GG's. <laughs> okay, this character is actually really neat. I love it. Oh, this could actually be really good too. If you just build like high enough. If it's going to half and, well, decay over time and it's going to be like a large decay, you could just go for it and try and kill. That's actually pretty neat. I like it. Deal 4 damage to a random target. Time. Okay, time's goodbye. It costs 4. Eh. Die. But yeah. That has been... Hold up. I actually don't think this character has any relics. No, I think about it. I really don't think it does. Except for it's like starter relic. That's all that I am pretty sure it has. But yeah, guys, that has been the Horophant. Or Helephant, whatever. It's the Horophant, I guess. <laughs> or Herophant. I, I Don't ask me. It, some weird pronunciations that most of us don't say every day. But yeah, that has been that mod. It's actually pretty neat, and I recommend trying it out. With that said, guys, I'm going to end it off here. And the link down in the description to where this mod is will also be available. Until then, peace out.